Hi, I'm Jerry Ellsworth, and I'm going to show you how to make electroluminescent wire at home. It's also called EL wire, and some say it's the currency of Burning Man. Uh, you can build it yourself at home fairly easy with uh, enameled wire. So this wire is like the type of wire that's on the armature of electric motors or inside of transformers. You'll also need some bare stranded wire, which I just stripped some um, insulated wire and got the very small strands out of it. You'll need phosphors. Um, these phosphors I got from uh, a couple of university students who are, are selling an experimenter's kit, and I'll leave that in the, the comments so you can find them and, and get the, the phosphors. So you're going to make a structure like this. So you're going to have your enameled uh, magnet wire running up the center of your EL wire. You're going to strip back some of the enamel. You're going to scrape it off so you can get to the copper conductor on the inside, but you're going to leave most of it insulated. And then you're going to take your bare copper wire, or bare wire, I, I don't even think it matters if it's copper or not, and you can wind it around, tightly wind it around the enamel wire, and make sure you don't short it to the center conductor or the end. You can also passivate the end with some super glue so it doesn't short if you feel like it. And then you're going to coat the entire assembly, the entire wire, with this phosphor. It doesn't have to be a lot. Actually, a thinner coating is a little bit better because the phosphors that aren't activated by the electric um, field um, will block the light. So a thinner coating is better. Um, effectively, what you're making is a capacitor between the inner center conductor and the uh, the the wire that's wrapped around the outside and where there's a capacitor and phosphor between the electric field as it's alternating back and forth will excite the phosphor and make it glow. So here is an example of a piece of yellow wire that I put together. So I tightly twisted the wire together and I put two different colored phosphors. I put a kind of a, a salmon pink and a blue phosphor. So halfway up is kind of the salmon color and and the rest of the way out to here is the uh, the bluish color. And when I turn the power supply on, which is alternating current um, in a, f a few uh, hertz to kilohertz at 120 volts, um, it'll light up. So I can turn the power up and it's going to start glowing. There we go, and see the blue out to here, the salmon up here. I'm going to try not to touch it so I don't shock myself. Um, I'm going to make some videos on how to make the power supply and do some other really cool things like make some displays with EL. Um, those will be coming. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe uh, and make some EL wire. Oh, I forgot to mention, you should also coat this with something like rubber cement so you don't get shocked after you built it. Alright, bye.